Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add some very useful information in your worksheets using the comments and notes features. Now, in the older versions of Excel, if you're using, say, 2019 and below, you only have one feature and it's called comments. However, in the newer version of Excel, you have both comments and notes, but the new feature comments is actually a new feature for work groups and the old feature is called notes rather than comments. I know that's kind of confusing but uh, if you want to if you have a newer version and you just want to uh, insert a comment just for just for you uh, for just people to read as they're looking at the worksheet you would just use the notes feature if you have an older version that's called comments. Uh, in the newer versions comments is for work groups uh, you can actually create a thread and you can have multiple people responding and I'll show you how to use both of those as we continue on here. So let's assume in this case that I'm looking at my worksheet here for first quarter produce sales and I see that the value for March apples is much lower than the other values. Well, I, I want to know what's going on and, and I don't want to have to have the boss ask me, hey, what the heck's the story with this number? So I just actually added a note to that particular cell. So in this case, it has my name so I know who I uh, who added the note here it just says we didn't get our normal shipment of apples this month and so as the the supervisor is looking at this uh, he or she will know instantly that that is why we didn't have as many sales of apples now looking at this I see that uh, in January we sold an awful lot of pears so I'm going to add an annotation here to explain why the pear sales in January is higher than the uh, the other months around it. So I can do that through the insert. And if I do the insert, I just have the uh, the, the comment box there. But I want to be able to do a note as well. So I'm going to right click in that cell, and notice that I can make a new note or a new comment. Now I'm going to go ahead and start with note, uh, which is just you know my entry. Nobody can respond to it in this case. All right. So there we go, and just say uh, we had a pear sale. We had a sale on pears this month. Press enter or just move away from it and there we go. And I see the little red triangle and as you start using um, notes and comments in your worksheet your users will, will get familiar with the uh, little rectangles or little triangles excuse me and they'll know what to look for. So let's go ahead and add now a what uh, this version of Excel calls a comment which is something that can be threaded and multiple people can respond to it. So I'm going to go ahead and right click and I will choose new comment. All right, so I'm going to start a conversation. The key there is a conversation versus just a note. A note is just an annotation. A conversation is. So I might just say, you know, what's up with this number? And it says press Control Enter to enter the post. So I'll do Control Enter. And then I'll go ahead and click away from it in this case. So I don't really want to reply. Now we see a, quite a different mark here. It's kind of a, a lavender. Uh, not really a, a triangle, just another note here. But when I point to it, it says that Luther Matty said, what's up with this number? Now, if I'm another user, uh, if I'm in Teams or one of the other Microsoft features um, for work group uh, interaction, I can just go ahead and then reply. OK, now let's assume in this case that uh, I, I, I'm done with a note. I don't want to see it anymore. Well, just as you created a note by right clicking in the cell, it's very easy to right click in that sole cell and then just go ahead and choose delete note. And as soon as I do that, the note's gone away. Uh, but remember, as soon as you actually just point to a cell with a note or a comment, you actually can read that. You don't even have to click in the cell, but of course you can if you want. I can also delete a comment the same way. Right click in the cell and I can go ahead and then choose delete the comment. And now it's back to just the one note that I just added. So you can see it's very, very easy to add both comments and notes. They are different. A uh, note is static. It's just uh, annotation for information, whereas a comment is something that other people can reply to and you can create a thread. All right. Well, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Remember that you can find step-by-step -step instructions written out on my website, luthermatty.com, as well as many other free resources. And if you like this video, please consider liking it and consider subscribing to my channel as well. Thank you very much. We'll see you in the next video.